Hey guys, I'm Annalise. And I'm Jeff. And we're gonna show you our 2005 Dodge Sprinter Dotty. Let's do it. As you can see, we're adding members to our family and sadly for us, but fortunately for you, we've outgrown our van. Okay, so we've got a nice screen door here. Easy in, it magnets to the doors. Uh, this is the back side of our sink cabinet where we've got some extra storage. And here we're standing in the kitchen. We have a Wabasto diesel stove. Um, this runs off of the diesel that powers the, the vehicle, so no extra uh, fuel is needed. Um, just fire it right up when you're ready for coffee in the morning. We also have an isotherm uh, fridge. Very efficient. It runs on 12 volt. Uh, they're made specifically for RVs and sailboats. So lots of storage in the kitchen. This upper cabinet flips flips up. It's magneted down. Um, it comes down. All the latches have these flip back mechanisms so things don't open up. Um, we've got several drawers here again with the flip open latches. Space for water. Uh, that guy holds seven gallons, and there's another one of those in the back. We also have this nice blackout curtain. Uh, this was made specially by a guy who um, sews things for sailboats. Um, so it's got this double zipper here. It's got a little button here. That way it kind of stays out of your way. <clears throat> Here's the sink. We use a shower bag underneath here. Nemo shower bag. Got a foot pump. So we just pump it up and we use the sprayer. There's not much water in there right now, but gives you some good water pressure. Got some storage underneath. Here's our toilet. Um, yes, it's a funnel. Uh, it's a number one only toilet, but it's highly functional. Um, you can sit on it, full weight, very strong, even when you're quite heavy. And then you can take the hose from the sink, rinse it out, and flip it back in. Away you go. We have a queen size bed. Uh, what was really important to us is that you didn't have to do a lot of finagling to get into bed at the end of the night. So you flip the foot of the bed up. There is some cordelette and some carabiners. Clip it back. Easy as that to get into the table. Uh, lots more storage here. Um, obviously you can you know, oh, squeeze in now, sit down, two people can sit here, have dinner. Also, there is storage in the back. There is storage under the seat. And then same thing on this side. There is also storage underneath these footboards. So both of those lift up. In this seat here, we have the heater. Jeff built this handy dandy box to protect it. So up underneath there is the Wabasto diesel heater. Again, it runs on the diesel that runs the vehicle. So no additional fuel source and keeps you toasty warm. <clears throat> you had your dinner cleaned up. Time to go to bed, undo one carabiner, away you go, time to hop in. For a vehicle of this age, the um, fabric is it still in pretty daggone good shape. Underneath the passenger seat is where the house battery lives. What fun would van life be if you didn't have a place to keep all your toys? Take a look in the back here. Back here, as you can see, lots and lots of storage. Um, we kept our other seven gallons of water back here. This side holds four bins. Um, and these we have these full extension drawer slides. So just push down and pull them out. They're rated for 
about 400 pounds of pear, so you can pile lots of heavy stuff on there. But that way there is no crawling to the back corner of your van to try to get whatever piece of gear it is that you need to get to go on your adventure. <clears throat> Time to go mountain biking. Again, no wrestling with the bikes. Uh, we've got Thule fork mounts in this drawer. Um, easily holds, these are both large frame bikes with 29 inch wheels. So the bed platform is high enough. Just like that, huh? Just like that. So you can see we've got this um, screen in the back that functions as mosquito netting. The last part of the outside tour is the solar panels. Those are used to charge the house battery, which powers all the electric on the inside. Um, we've been on the road for about two years, and between the solar panels and the alternator, which is also connected to the house battery to recharge it, uh, we didn't need any external sources of power. Number one is just a little bit of extra storage over the cab. And number two is the roof fan. Open the hatch, three speeds. Kept this nice and cool. Also, uh, the lights are easy access. Just a little flip of the switch right under here. Um, illuminates the kitchen. There's another switch right back here um, that illuminates the bed. This one was important because you can turn the lights off without getting out of bed, which is nice. There are also similar lights in the back in the bike garage. Hopefully you've enjoyed the tour of Dottie, got a better feel for her. We will uh, miss her dearly, but she's ready for some new adventure partners.